Your market update for August 1st, 2022. Hey, I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Homes team, and we're going to talk about the Fed rates, how they went up this week, but yet mortgage rates, they actually went down, way down as a matter of fact. And yes, it might be the dog days of summer, but we're still going to look at the inventory and the, and the sales and week over week data, but we're also going to take a look at that July data and see what happened in this Massachusetts market. And by the way, just as a little teaser here, inventory actually decreased in both segments of the market which is to me was just unheard of i actually can't believe it but we've been seeing it level off for the last couple of weeks and then we're also going to talk about probably some of the biggest news in the real estate market is that the ftc actually slapped an eye buyer what we call an eye buyer in the face with a huge fine for some deceptive practices so we're going to touch on that as well but first let's take a look at the single family data specifically week over week so single family homes in the state of massachusetts we had 5,469 homes currently on the market in the state of massachusetts now this is down 59 units when we compare it to last week which is about one percent i know what you're thinking hey one percent like that's not much but honestly this was huge news to me i did not see you know i saw it leveling off i saw the amounts of increases kind of coming down but i did not see uh just three weeks ago four weeks ago inventory actually starting to decrease in our marketplace so this was kind of mind-blowing for me there was 1115 new listings that came on the buy uh, on the market that were available to buyers now it's important to note that that is actually 226 less units that came on the market the same exact week last year so that's a 17 percent decrease in the amount of new sellers coming to the market for buyers to purchase we saw 1189 single-family homes go under agreement last week and it's also important to notice that that was a 12 percent decrease in that from the same exact week period uh back in last year so last year they had 1347 single family homes go on the market again compared to the 1189 that we saw so pretty significant decrease and what i think is really interesting in this data is that yes you're seeing a decrease in the amount of sellers coming on the market but you're also seeing that same exact decrease pretty much in the amount of buyers that are going under agreement so so the market's kind of found an equilibrium where, you know, myself included, everybody thought inventory was just going to continue to stack up and it is not right now. Whether it's going to happen and continue to happen in the fall, who knows? But as of right now, inventory is actually decreasing. We saw 1,371 single family homes uh, sell last week. Uh, average sale price is $765,000 and a median sales price is $739,000. Or we actually saw months of inventory. We use months of inventory, remember, to figure out, hey, how good of a seller's buyer's market or equal market is it? Our months of inventory this month slipped down to 1.45 for this week. And this is compared to 1.47 months that we saw just last week. So it is actually becoming a better and better seller's market. For condos, we had 2,693 uh, condos in the state of Massachusetts currently on the market. Now, this was down 105 units or about 3.75%. And we saw 443 new condos come on the market in the state of Massachusetts, which just like in single families, this was actually down 21% when we compare it to the same week back in 2021. We saw 456 condos actually go under agreement in the state of Massachusetts. And again, this was a 16% decrease when we look compared just to the same week year over year. And the, it, we also saw 499 Massachusetts condos sell for an average sale price of $669,000 and a median sale price of $660,000. Now, just like in the single family market, we saw that months of inventory decrease as well and we moved down to 1.61 months worth of inventory on the market um, for massachusetts condos and this is compared to the 1.63 months that we had just one week ago um, which uh, the week before that was actually the year-long high of 1.64 months so the market with the decreasing inventory it's actually starting to get better and better for sellers ultimately um which is like i said this is just a, it's an interesting phenomenon for me i would never ever had guessed this and i didn't hear anybody guessing this but the mortgage market we have to talk about the mortgage market because everybody knew the fed was going to increase their interest rates there was no doubt about it the question was it's going to be 75 basis points or 100 they chose 75 basis points they should have chosen 100 but they chose 75 but here is what nobody expected 
Mortgage rates, they cratered. Mortgage rates went way down. Right now, we have interest rates hovering for a 30-year fixed rate conventional mortgage around 5%. You have jumbo rates in that 4.5% range, right? Just in the middle of June. So just six weeks ago, we were at like around 6.5%. So interest rates have gone down 1.5%, which to give you an idea, if you're a buyer, that's about 15% difference in your buying power in other words if you were looking to, if you started looking to buy back in june okay middle of june and you're now buying now your buying power is an additional 15 percent. so if you were looking at a five hundred thousand dollar house essentially you know that same mortgage payment is now going to get you a five hundred seventy five thousand dollars pretty big difference when you kind of think about it that way and how much these decrease in interest rates are really making a big difference now it's important to note i don't think anybody expects interest rates to really go down too much further i think for the most part everybody's kind of of the same consensus that interest rates should be increasing especially as we go into the fall market but there is a little window here if you are a buyer that uh, might really be worth it to take advantage of so let's talk about those july massachusetts real estate numbers for the real estate market right single family homes in the month of july we had 4,561 single family homes close. Um, this was an 18.22% decrease when we compare it to the same month, July of 2021, where we actually saw 5,577 single family homes. Now, the average sales price for July of 2022 uh, was $769,000. But when we compare it to July of 2021, this is actually a 10% increase from uh, in, in the average sale price, right? So buyers saw a 10 10% increase on average throughout the state of Massachusetts year over year when that sales price was $698,000. Now, if you compare the average sale price for July and compare it to June, we actually saw home prices go down about 3%, but I have set it up down left and right a couple of videos. I do not believe that you could truly look at month over month data and try to, it's just too small of a, of a snapshot in order to really try to get a picture of the market. And as a great example of this, in January of this year and February of this year, both those months, if we looked at data being month over month, they actually decreased. So if you were just looking over month over month decrease, you'd be screaming from the rooftops that the real estate market was collapsing, which we can agree that March, April, May, June, <laughs> right? That um, it was a fantastic market to be in. Sellers made a lot of money. So do not look at that month over month, but it is just interesting data to kind of keep our eye on. Now, the condo market, there were 1,819 Massachusetts condos that sold in July of 2022. This was an astounding 28% decrease in the amount of sales and the amount of units sold when we compare year over year, where last year we had 2,520 condos sell. So that's a pretty significant number. And if we're talking about numbers, I'm really kind of keeping a closer eye on the actual sales numbers. Those are the ones that I really want to keep my eye on, right? Because if those sales continue to decrease, and all of a sudden we see a huge surge of inventory well then that equilibrium is really quickly lost now the average sale price for condos in the state of massachusetts in july was six hundred and forty four thousand dollars this is a 5.9 percent increase year over year when that average sale price was six hundred and eight thousand dollars back in july of 2021 now in month over month data however last month the average sale price was six hundred ninety five thousand dollars right and then the sales price this year was our actually say this month was six hundred and forty four thousand dollars which that means we actually saw a seven point three percent decrease in the average sale price when we compare it to month over month data now again i know i just said it but I don't believe that is a really great indicator to look at, but I'm giving you the data anyway. Now let's jump to that big, huge news, the FTC and Open Door. Open Door is the company that just got slapped across the face with a huge monumental fine. Now Open Door, they are an eye buyer, what we call an institutional buyer who buys houses directly from the seller and then goes and flips that house just a couple months later, hoping to turn a profit. Now their whole entire model is that, hey, Mr. Seller, we're gonna make your life really easy. We're gonna buy our house pretty darn close to the uh, you know, market average, right? And then um, you're just going to choose your uh, closing date and we're going to cut you a check. That's their model. It all sounds really good on paper, but as the FTC found, that was just not the case, right? So in, they, they, you'd agree on this average, the, the sales price, great. You, there'd be a 5% convenience fee, but and then 
boom, they were nailing sellers with additional fees, additional commissions, uh, percentage points for any repairs that they found after um, the agreed upon agreement. And what the FTC did is they came around and said, hey, look, open door. We are giving you a $62 million fine for, and I quote, cheating sellers with misleading claims. So it is really great to see from an industry perspective that the FTC really did step up because they really weren't great practices that Open Door was uh, ultimately um, practicing, if you will. And, and it's, it's just, it's good to see. I, it, you know, it, it's healthy for our market. Uh, these institutional buyers are not a great thing for our marketplace. They're buying up way too much homes. They respect builds. This company's worth $3 billion today. And I'll be honest, I don't see how this company makes it another year, year and a half with, uh, you know, a market that is uh, not as hot as it was uh, last year. So if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on things, Things that I can do better, please throw them in the comments or let me know directly. I'm always looking to improve. Uh, if you want to talk about your real estate goals, your real estate needs, whether it be here in Massachusetts or down in South Carolina or anywhere in the country, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, I, you know, I have uh, friends and I have professionals all throughout the country that I know will take really great care of you. So I'm always happy to talk with you. All my information is in the uh, description below. And if you can do me a huge favor, I know this is a big ask. But if you could slam that like button for me and then share this video with anybody that you know who's thinking about buying or selling, I'd be greatly indebted. So until next week.